بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم which translates to in the name of Allah the most graceful the most merciful your excellency Sheikh Hayyan Mubarak Al Hayyan minister of tolerance and coexistence your excellencies distinguished guests may the peace and mercy of Allah be upon you humbly my name is Yusuf Abdul Bari it is our pleasure to be the master of ceremony for this promising evening the conscious planet safe soil movement Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, let us now stand for a minute of silence for the loss of the late Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Hayyan. May Allah rest his. My dear brother Sadguru, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am delighted to join everyone here tonight in welcoming my dear brother Said Guru to the United Arab Emirates. Let me close by noting that tonight's rally is also an opportunity to celebrate the strong relations between India and the United Arab Emirates. Our two countries have enjoyed a friendly and productive relationship for a very long time and god willing we will continue to achieve more together over the years <clears throat> thank you over the years and the decades ahead again my dear brother said guru welcome to the united arab emirates Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency Sheikh Al Hayyan, for shedding this much of light. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to hand the floor to the Minister of Climate Change and Environment herself. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's keynote is relayed to you by Her Excellency Maryam bint Muhammad Al Mahdi. Please welcome. Um, tonight, we have the honor of having you here in the UAE. It's unbelievable when we know the facts that you're on a 100-day journey spanning 30,000 kilometers and crossing 24 countries and through your solo motorcycle trip from London to the southern tip of India. Again, thank you from my heart, from the team, everybody here. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to invite our next speaker on the stage. Please welcome with me the Ambassador of India to the United Arab Emirates, His Excellency Sanjay Sudhir. Sadhguru has been awarded India's second highest civilian award, the Padma Vibhushan. That in the 26th of the 27 countries he plans to travel, whether his mission was a mission fulfilled. And his answer was, that the narrative on saving the soil has certainly changed. The awareness is certainly at a different level, though there is still a lot more to be done to save soil. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to introduce the man we've all been waiting for, global visionary, founder of the Conscious Planet Save Soil Movement, ladies and gentlemen, Saad Guru. The floor is yours, sir. from other problems that we have. 
environmental problems, global warming problems, yes, there are many problems. I'm not saying they're not significant, they're all significant issues, but you must separate soil from that, only then we can fix it. Otherwise, we will have more conventions and more conferences and more theses going on. This has been going on for a long time. If we don't act now, it'll be late. In another twenty years, it'll be very late. This is the time to act. Why I am asking for this ease? I have looked at the European uh, Common Agricultural Policy. It's very well-intentioned, very comprehensive, covering all aspects of the problem. But it's not implementable because implementation has to happen by the farmer. It is not going to happen because of a scientist or an academic. It has to be done by the farmer. So it is very, very important that implementation point is one-pointed and simple that everybody can implement. So only thing we are asking for is to make a law that if you own farmland, you must have minimum three percent agricultural, I mean organic content. Without three percent organic content, there are so many things we are doing in the world. But if people have to live well, nutritious food, clean water, pure air, these three things if you maintain, how each individual lives is their problem. Hello? Somebody will live well, somebody will live miserably, that's their issue. That is something we can try to teach them, but that is their issue. But if you take away nutritious food, clean water and pure air to breathe, then we have taken away the foundations of good life. That is what we are doing right now. That is what we are driving future generations to be. And unfortunately, the future generation also calls themselves Generation Z. It scares me, it's the last alphabet <laughs> One day, uh, are there people from Mysore city? Oh, Uttidre, Uttabeku, Kannada Nadinali. Okay. Okay, okay, Namuru Mysuru, we know. <laughs> so, in Mysore city, there is a small hill it's called Chamundi Hill. So, when, at least in those days, when we were young, when I was eight, ten years of age, I trekked in this little hill, it was a Himalaya for me because I was eight years of age. We camped there, as we grew up, we cycled up Chamundi Hill. When we want to test our muscles, we cycle up Chamundi Hill. Later on, when we want to test our motorcycles, we ride up Chamundi Hill. Ooh. I want to hear this. When I say one, two, three, you say save soil, let's make it happen. One, two, three. Let's make it happen. Great. So this should not be one day of slogan shouting. This must be your commitment at least for forty days. Make this happen. Right now I must tell you this, this is the sixty-first day of the ride. We have covered... this is the twenty-fifth nation. Uh, one second. Oh! This is the twenty-fifth nation and among all the other nations which have expressed their intent, of being part of safe soil by signing MOUs and de making declarations. This is the seventy-fourth nation with which we have signed this. Uh, please. Thank you very much, everybody. Many... Uh, our... our gratitude to Sheikh Nayan who was here, the Minister of Tolerance and above all, our Environment Minister, most spirited and passionate about this cause. Without her, many things wouldn't have happened in UAE, whatever has happened. The moment she grasped the idea, she's been non-stop on the mission. Thank you very much, my gratitude to all of them. And our deepest... and our deepest condolences, most profound condolences to the leader that we have just lost and also congratulations to the new leader. And I must say this, there is no one more country in the world where in a matter of fifty years, from a remote hab desert habitation to the hub of the world, 
this… this has happened. This has happened because of the visionary leadership and I'm sure this visionary leadership will also make UAE into an eco-hub for this region. That's what we are looking at. Thank you very much. Still a set of condition. Now you're going to see a QR code appear here on the screen. This QR code is the 20th… well, the 20th of May marks the 61st day of Sadhguru's iconic 100-day journey across the world to expedite the awareness of and the restoration of soil health. 61 days braving relentless storms and rain and snow and mountainous terrain and sandstorms. Now starting from London, cross-crossing, crisscrossing through Europe, Middle East and now he made it here to Dubai. In order to see this whole journey, we'd like you to scan this QR code on the screen and you'll have this whole journey illustrated into your phone. Tumba Pusia, tu nombre. Tumba Pusia.